<clears throat> it is indeed another mega binge compilation of the 17th variety. Enjoy. Biddly Bards 2024. Wee. I don't know how you pick a specific voice for characters. Whenever I'm thinking about my own characters talking, I imagine a very general voice for each of them in the ballpark, and I think they'd be it. But whenever I try to think about specifics, everything sounds off. I say I like tragedies, and everyone's all like, well, how do you like sad stories? Are you depressed? And never, how's the catharsis? Was the catharsis fun? Blanket normally. Really good. Blanket ten minutes before you need to get up for work. Skin, Skin contact. contact. With God. Love to cause situations. Hate to be near them, really. Undiagnosable. <clears throat> Butterflies when they flap their wings. Oh no. I have Ashton Kutcher butterfly effectism. Your Honor, I so humbly request that you allow me to be cringe about this one thing, and then I will never, ever be cringe again for real this time. I, t I promise. Fine. Through my fucking teeth. Man eating breakfast, mortified, he was caught putting ketchup on his eggs by a cartoon chicken standing over his shoulder asking, You would surely take yolk? With a raised eyebrow and tensing muscles. So I'm putting ketchup on eggs. I find it pretty delicious. Ready to go. Why are you guys breaking into my house? Stop it. I love ending emails with, Thank you in advance. Like, What are you gonna do now? Not do the thing I already thanked you for? Bring dishonor on yourself like that? Oh no, I don't think so. Checkmate, you have been played by the master of manipulation. And thank you in advance. Nobody understands the bond between a girl and the mediocre book she read when she was 13 years old. This is very, very important, by the way. Do not reread the book. It might still be on your shelf. It's tempting you. Do not give in. It's the devil talking and you will be let down. Exceptions apply. Is it pronounced gif, jif, or gif? This might be shock, but it is pronounced jif. Give forth my incorruptible elven warriors into the lair of the nefarious succubus. My lord, the peasants have reported strange sounds from the succubus's lair. Sounds of giggling. Oh, impossible. But even so, my chaste warriors have yet to return. Son of cadre of the holiest elven nuns, post haste. Oh no. Friedrich Nietzsche has released a new ebook. I. I simply don't think that's true, ebooks.com, but thank you anyway. <laughs> God may be dead, but I'm not. Freddy Nietzsche in his new book, Dear Skill Issues. <laughs> Adulthood is making your mom cookies to take to work and jokingly tell her, You may have one after, after dinner. dinner. More importantly, you're getting paid to make your cookies. That's. kind of evil market do you have? A train is like a girl. If you're not careful, she could bite your head clean off. You say that like it's a bad thing. It isn't a bad thing. Just a warning. The idea that only women can give birth is a misconception. Men can give birth too, and that's a Mr. Conception. <laughs> Mr. Conception. Did you know? Touch your monitor. It is warm. Like flesh. But it is not flesh. Not yet. Not, yet, not yet. The captain was just a plot device. A very crunchy one. Reminiscing on poor Captain Barnabas, who was eaten by Hydra. I understand some of you are 19, but that is not an old man. He's 32! I take this personally! Me completely by myself in my room. All right, everybody, just calm down! Freaking love Discord, because you'll say something like, My sister had her baby this morning, and the reactions on it will be... This... God, they would have thrived in ancient Egyptian times. I'm not actually mad. I just like the comedic delivery of righteous but pointless anger. You fucking- There should be a special place in hell for those who renovate Victorian houses to have modern interior. Like, what the hell's wrong with you? I hope the ghosts kill you for real! Touching his extremely defined six-pack. <laughs> who did this to you? And D culture is dissociating so hard you forget where you are. No, seriously, where am I? My boyfriend's back at it with the great pictures of barbs. You either die the early bird, or live long enough to become the worm. 
This area is under constant video surveillance. Hmm. <laughs> Fuck, it sure is. Um, bro, why are you playing in the JP voices? You voiced in the game before. Umara is El Haytham. Next question. What's so special about El Haytham's JP voice? Let me go check. Oh. Oh my. Oh gee. Oh heavens. Oh. Mm, yes. Oh wow. For those of you who need the experience, let me just, uh. This <laughs> I love it when people use shrimp to mean beyond the human range, like shrimp colors but apply to other things, shrimp emotions, shrimp sounds, shrimp morality, as if shrimp are living some kind of transcendent experience that humans can never comprehend. They might, and we'll never know, because we can't comprehend it. <sighs> my brain is full of lore, but my writing hands are full of lead. This post is a big yeet. Weighted blanket isn't enough. I need to get put into a panini press and cooked until lightly toasted and golden brown. Waffle type behavior, to be honest. Being self-taught in any type of practice will eventually lead to you having to seek out formal learning resources to bridge what you think is a trivial knowledge gap and realizing that you've been operating similarly to that French guy who went about his daily life unknowingly missing 90% of his brain. It's a bit of an eye-opener, not gonna lie. Uh, hmm. Well, how am I supposed to leave the house now? You aren't. You have a depression nap for too long and wake up feeling like a giant salamander. You know, like this. Hey, how did you get this picture of me? What a year this week has been. It's Monday. It sure as hell is. No, the early in the day Monday you reblog, the funnier this gets. The funniest is if you reblog this on a Monday that is also January the 1st. I relate to vampires because I, too, must be clearly and specifically invited in before I have the audacity to try to participate in anything. I'm socially awkward, leave me be. Baby girl, I will invent stages of grief you have never even seen before. Like the stage of grief where you eat nothing but soup. I'm going to be real with you, Harlequins. A new year does not equate for a better time. Our collective actions do. So stick to betterment. Personal betterment so that we can have a better year. Thank you, Sullivan. Sprampton. Genuinely thought this was a search bar. Just, just, just put me down already. The bisexual to Era Ace Pipeline is pretty much having the right idea and coming to the wrong conclusion. Yeah, buddy, you're not straight and you're also not gay. No, 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 not like that, though. The other way around. I feel the same way about everyone. Yeah, you do. Because you don't. Do you get it? Yeah, I got taken to an axe throwing tonight. I may not have impressed anyone with my technical axe throwing skills, but my sheer brute animal strength is unparalleled. I was there. The sheer force was astounding. How did you do it twice? Getting a 20 inch strength and two in dexterity. Am I right or am I right, Andy? Up top. <coughs> Improve your military base's connectivity with Verizon. <laughs> Who do you think I am exactly? No thoughts. Only baby. Where? Oh my god! Well, what's her wisdom? Ba 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 Such beautiful words. If you see this post on the day you were born, happy birthday! Congrats! Today was, Today the, was day the day you escaped. escaped. That's some stuck. Does it have any of those damn horses in it? Something tell me his deactivation was justified. I'm not a capitalist, but having a job on money is great because I no longer loathe everyone and everything in the world around me. <laughs> oh, I know a psyop when I see one. Andy, get his ass! I hate doing these posts, but if this gets 10,000 notes by February 12th, which won't happen, I will ask for therapy and please do not feel forced to add notes. <laughs> This is the blessing bat, and you don't have to do anything for it to work. Once you see it, you are blessed forever. Joy, blessing bat be upon ye. I love him. Look at his little face. Fumbler. Tumbler, except everyone's just making jokes that never land. They're good jokes, great ones even. They just fumbled to delivery. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> okay.
if you change your gender on the exact frame someone misgenders you, you'll perform a perfect parry, and they will become transgender. Can you imagine pulling the no you card on that? Imagine if people still took last names from their trade, like Fisher, Smith, and Fletcher. Imagine some guy introducing himself to you as Jonathan Podcaster. It is I, Patrick Voice Actor Man. There's no difference between exercise and black magic. Both of them hurt your body at first and drain you of energy, but the more you dabble into it, the more powerful you become. This is the most inspiring thing I ever read. The worst animal? Ugh, disrespectful. It just kind of sucks. And what are you bringing to the table? I would like to see a little lizard. Here you go. He has a little helmet. <gasps> the perfect being does exist. Once in my science class, the teacher said to go to the C-section, and in a moment of sheer stupidity and muscle reflex, I said, that's how I was born. And now I have to live the fact that I will never top that ever again. You know, shouldn't have put the new year in the middle of winter, cause then everyone expects you to get your shit together in January. Uh, of all, of all, of all times. What's your New Year's resolution? Oh, gee, I don't know, uh, fucking survive? Why don't you ask me again when I'm not vitamin D deficient? I think, oh, my childhood doesn't even impact me that much. And then I'm afraid to sit in the living room. The living room! The interaction I just had on TikTok is the best I've ever had. The Victoria and Albert Museum, look at that stolen shit. In a way, Britain is like a fantasy thieves guild became a nation. Yes. Guess we fucking are. I'm taking three levels of rogue now, mandated by law. Come on. Give it up. It takes so long and it's so tiring. But if I don't make art for the rest of my life, I'll die. I also have a sneaking suspicion that if you continue to do art without taking breaks, that might kill you too. Because chances are you're probably passing that down to your great grandkids as inheritance. Do you think autistic people dislike eye contact because of ancestral memories from Medusa times? No. No, I don't. Well, I do. Being called ugly your whole life, and then having people attracted to you, is some weird-ass feeling. I, I don't know what to do with it. I'm a fly in the sky! Yahoo! I'm gonna see your house from here! I'm gonna move into your house! You're gonna pay right now. I'm on the rent now! Put me in your pocket, buy the gacha games, do it! Do God, it. I have no idea how to start these videos anymore. Um... Sorry to any bands who see me yawn during their show. It's not you. It's just past 10 p.m. I hope you understand. I was today years old when I learned about Xin Yu Chai. I hope I got that one right because I've actually been trying to study Chinese. A convenience store hanging on a cliff in Hunan that's been nicknamed the most inconvenient convenience store in China. God, I bet the food there is great. <laughs> I think it's really funny. Garten of Bam Bam characters don't have eyelids so when they're passed out or asleep. Just... It just looks like this. God, so dissociating, so hard right now. Wish I could filter every video on YouTube with the word iceberg in the title. Quietly and bashfully delete that essay on lettuces I've been working on. No. What have I done? It's been a creative lull this week. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna need a ukulele apology for this one, Bucky. All right, starting this now. Day one of telling you to go to bed. Day 660 of telling you to go to bed and you still won't? The year is 2024. You walk into your local coffee shop. A latte costs $12. You have the choice of tipping 75%, 95%, or 125%. You sheepishly tap 75% and feel bad about yourself. The barista shakes his head in disgust. Get out, you worm! You know, the Will Poulter glow-up needs to be studied. Dude transformed into a Hemsworth brother. How to... How do you do that? To everyone with sensory issues. You are not a baby for melting down because of under- or overstimulation. You are not being immature or just throwing a tantrum when you have meltdowns. 
the discomfort and pain and fear you feel due to your sensory issues is real and valid and shouldn't be dismissed as silly or unimportant by people who don't understand it. A girl of about six or seven was babbling nonsense words at her mom, and I thought to myself, she should be able to form real words and sentences by this age. But then the mom responded in kind, and I realized, oh, wait, they're, they're speaking they're French. French. Official anti-France post. The bravery of a girl who has to decide what is for dinner and then cook it and then wash dishes every day forever and ever. Now it's called being an adult. Now it's called being the bravest girl on planet Earth. What people who say, don't say 30 year olds are old, 30 is still young, don't understand is I know that. I'm not calling my 25 year old coworker old because I believe it. I'm calling him old because I enjoy psychological warfare. You're a monster. Andy, hit him with the hardest punishment of all. Take away the chocolate milk. I sentence you to thinking about dragons for 10 billion years. I did this to that one band. Young adult titles must contain one of the following words or you have to pay a fine. Blood, Crow, Queen, Ice Crown, Fire, Bone, True, Academy, Magic, Glass, Shade, Kingdom, World, Shadow Song, Sun, Ember, Secret Legend, Star, Raven, Thief. Yeah, I think I read that book once. How I do world building. List of questions neatly answered in a Word document? Nah. Muddled but comprehensive notes in various notebooks? Mm-mm. Someone asked me questions and I have to pretend I already thought about the answer? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hey, how's the writing going? I'm glad you asked. My room has never been cleaner, and I decided to take up baking. <laughs> oh, I can't believe you blocked me. Just because I read everything you said in bad faith with open hostility. The nerve. Hmm, I disagree with you, but I could not possibly wade through the cranberry bog of my mind to verbalize why. Hmm, it appears your stupid big paws prevented you from tapping a coherent argument. <laughs> Him, Seymour, if I do a little dance and recite the ancient chants to summon you, can you assure me that you won't trick me and steal my soul in exchange for being in one of your Tumblr videos? I also have coffee for you if you're interested. Hmm. Make him do a little dance, Andy. I want to see if they pass the vibe check. Hmm. The dance is good, but it doesn't quite tell me the entire character backstory in the dance. I'm sorry, it fails the vibe check. Andy, take this all. I'm just trying to start the video, but the freaking audio interface wasn't even on, so I'm gonna go back and do a bunch of these things. We Going over to my minimalist girlfriend's house, and she apologizes profusely for the mess, and there's just a single, perfect, fresh pee on the floor of her living room. And for those who are listening and not looking at the video, the, the, the vegetable pee, not, not, not the at- Why do I like girls with muscles? No, it's not so they can crush me. I'm not that primitive. No. I like them because they went through trial and challenge to get strength and figure. And they worked hard for it. Also, muscular women make my brain go <laughs> Former Yahoo CEO Marissa Mayer reveals she regrets buying Tumblr instead of Netflix or Hulu. Yahoo bought Tumblr in 2013 for $1.1 billion, but by the time it was sold in 2019, the value of the platform was reportedly down to $3 million. A and why did the value plummet, Marissa? Why, why, why did it plummet? Boom! Hmm? All right, I give up. Which Greek hero is Polycules, and why do you guys keep talking about him? Uh-oh. This pronunciation of polycules is going to be stuck in my head for a while. Yesterday, I got the, are you a boy or are you a girl question from a six-year-old, and I told her that some people aren't boys or girls, like me. I was expecting her to be a little confused, but she nodded thoughtfully and said, wow, just like snails. Yeah. I wonder who God saw eating that he decided gluttony was a sin. Gluttony in the original historical context is about hoarding wealth and resources, not about someone eating too much dinner one night. Realizing the bad guy in Seven actually didn't do his research. Disappointing. This month I'm doing something called J January, where I try to make it through every day January. Failing. To challenge, you must put in efforts. A promise does not do the work for you. Guys, I think this is my new god. Going forward, I will consume only problematic media. 
And well, <laughs> that's just to say, uncritically too. <gasps> oh my god, so brave. Thinking, <laughs> what if I jokingly ship them? Is your last chance to get out, by the way? Honestly, no. If you think that, it's already too late. It's the fandom's equivalent of the game. You already lost, buddy. Take it from me. He's got that previously neglected shelter dog, Riz. He looks like he wants to quietly sit next to you on the couch while you watch TV. He looks like he lets out a pathetic, sad little sigh sometimes for no reason. Oh my god, I love him. The news is always like, America has banned wheelchair ramps because they weren't in the bibble. Finland has made ice cream free. Why does Finland always get the nice things? For all the people that think they're bad at responding to emails, I emailed a professor 12 years ago asking about source recommendations for a paper I was writing for a class during my undergrad. He replied to my email, TODAY! TODAY! Behold, train car that was leaking corn. What a fantastic fucking day to be a squirrel. Or a deer. I bet the deer were thrilled. Can you imagine? What kind of fey human bullshit's going on now? You can eat from the corn river, but the metal dragon that hunts between the banks may get ya! One time I dreamt I was in the Disney store at the mall. A kids bop-esque cover version of Bodies was playing, sung by Adina Menzel as Elsa. You know, she would totally rock that though, let's be honest. Imagining a world where Ask Jeeves went out as the most popular search engine so people having arguments online saying stuff like, Literally just ask Jeeves about this, it's not hard! Fuck it, I want to go back. Oh, I need this. I need this in my life. Why did we get Google? I'm not going to buy your art if you're going to reblog creams. <laughs> this is one of the funniest ass I've ever gotten. I, I don't even know how to respond. You're on the cringe website. Do you also get mad when you open a book and words are inside? <laughs> Do you also get mad when you open a book and words are inside go so hard it does not deserve to be a reply on Tumblr to an Anon hater? It should be in a museum. The narrative starts the third act by repeating a scene from the first act, but now it has a totally different context. Me. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be good. I will say. I am mildly disappointed that in the murder mystery setting of Fontaine in Genshin, we didn't get a Hercule Poirot character. Pink, can you elaborate? Ah, fresh face, I see. Hercule is one of the most iconic European detectives in murder mystery novel series. And since Fontaine is a melting pot of European countries with an entire murder mystery plot, you know, it would have been perfect to sneak in as a reference. For visual references, if you've seen these guys in movie trailers, that, that, that's the character that's here right there. Look at that mustache. What do you mean, PM? Hercule is right here. My God! Oh, speaking of cold openings, water drinkers, cold or room temperature? Yeah, no one who actually drinks water prefers cold. Like, it, it hurts your teeth. Why would you do that? Cool things about being an adult. Eat chips whenever you want. No bedtime. Tired all the time. Sad all the time. Wait a second. Transgender as in transported gender. I broke into your house, and now I'm hightailing it with my Volvo with your gender in the back. Toodle, sucker! I'm in the silent waiting room for therapy, trying to not laugh. <laughs> How dare you? Oh yeah, the children are talking about nihilism again. Okay, let me enlighten you, Claude Pauls. Life's value comes from those who live it. Living life gives it value. Thinking about the end does not teach you to love the journey. Knowing it will one day end makes it sweeter to love and hate and care. Feel it all. Think, eat, sleep, but don't give up. Never give up. Thank you, Salivan. You know, that 2K you worked hard for is better than 100K that's given to you for free. Don't ever give anyone advice again. In fact, Andy, j just give him the look of shame. How dare you? It's not a one-sided conversation. The animal is literally blinking at me in understanding. He knows me better than you. When a nurse checks your blood pressure, they should just immediately clarify whether it's good or bad. Hmm, 130 over 90. Okay, cool. Are we just saying numbers? Like, is it good? Is it bad? By the way, it's bad. Whenever I see beautiful women on the dashboard, I scroll as fast as I can because I know one time it's going to be the sneaky witch trying to get me. What about beautiful men? Well, I can stare at them all day, my friend. Bad news, everyone. 
Sneaky warlock. Warm baked goods are insane. Something so beautiful and almost maddening about absolutely tearing into them when they're fresh. Feeling warm all over after. I really do get vampires for real. You clearly don't own an air fryer. You know, slow day in the robot girl community, huh? In power saving mode. On standby. Lego my mouse and push my keys. I'm aping. Do not awaken. Speaking of which, Andy, put up your favorite robot girl. They, that's a good one. Good job. Hey, why is it called creepy pasta and not? <sighs> Finicini, you Fredo! I no. So good. Why is it not? Surely the cancers won't quince. She cons on my quince till I wrap her the cushions. Peer reviewed. God damn. The beauty of Tumblr's retro chronological dash is that when you come back online, if the first post you see is, okay, I'm normal now, you know, you're about to witness the most spectacular meltdown a mutual has ever had in recent memory, followed by the impetus that triggers the entire event. Love it. Baby girl, if having LGBTQIA plus characters in my creations is woke, then baby girl, I am an insomniac. Ow, my eyeballs. If I ever got married, I would use the reception as an opportunity to just play every song I've ever liked. No theme, no vibe, just me being like, oh my god, I love this one, for two hours. Guarantee you you're gonna hear a lot of Final Fantasy music. Listen mean is just it's just so funny. How do you even get your hair to be like that? Secret white moon cocoon form. It's to hide from the wonderbread guy. <laughs> Don't you utter those words in this house? Y'all ever see a piece of fan content about your favorite character that is so horrifically different from what you personally believe and you just <laughs> Why? Oh, sure, everyone loves witches until we start doing witch shit. Now I'm weird and you're scared. Well, you turn me into a new. I got better. Ah, me and my silly little bed, avoiding my silly little tasks. Wait, no, no, don't pull me out of the bed. No, 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 no. <laughs> Just some neatly arranged Cheez-Its. Not just any Cheez-Its. Toasty Cheez-Its. <laughs> Yummy. AKA the best kind of Cheez-It. How'd you get into writing? Girl, nobody gets into writing. Writing just shows up one day at your door and gets into you. Critics reviewing the Mario movie. It's just a bunch of goofing off with no real story. Mario fans. Yes, that's what we want. Critics reviewing the FNAF movie. It's just a two-hour lore dump. FNAF fans, YES! THAT'S WHAT WE WANT! Video game hunger meter where once it runs out, instead of affecting your health, your dialogue options just now become increasingly incoherent or incredibly bitchy. Y yes I like this, this is good. Andy, write that down. Donuts are gay bagels, have a nice day, bye! Ah, uh, no, 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 you get back over here, come in! Look me in the eye and tell me that them donuts are only gay. That is pansexual, Joseph, and you know it! Perceive with your ocular spheres. Helmets designed to fight depression. Man, the technician looks like she needs a turn. We all need a turn. My friend went to a nerd factory and they gave him a bag of rejects and said, Enjoy your bag of diabetes. I want a bag of reject nerds. Oh, wait! I'm on Tumblr. They're everywhere. I would be mad if that was not the funniest fucking thing I heard all day. Imagine. A hand with a palm on both sides. The fingers can bend either way. Thanks! I hate it! You find me standing over an enormous puddle of black liquid spreading across the floor. And when you ask me what happened, all I can stammer out is that... I got all the drawings out of me. But they came out in a single shotgun blast. Upon closer inspection, the puddle is in fact 537 drawings of different characters. <laughs> <laughs> All from the shoulders up and facing to the left. <laughs> oh, sorry, they back. <laughs> That's the funniest fucking thing ever. <laughs> Mrs. Word, Mrs. Excel, and Mrs. PowerPoint are all snooty, disagreeable ladies who won't speak to me due to my meager dowry. But then I meet their beautiful sister, Miss Paint, who's clumsy but charming, and we fall in beautiful love, and I become Mr. Paint.
or they're called Draculas because they 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 drank you. You know what? Gold star for effort. Writing prompt. Whenever someone creates a new spell, they inevitably become an archmage and are offered a seat on the council. You were an average teenager who was the first to figure out how to summon Dino Nuggies. Oh my god, I want this book. Pocky Cho! Why are you like this, father? Because my father was also like this. Son, whatever you do, I don't care if you're successful. I don't care if you have a big family or go to college. Just... Be better. That's... God, Pucky, that's deep. Holy shit. Today, some guy very confidently ordered a busted nut parfait on drive through without hesitation. And I had to ask if he meant a peanut buster parfait without crying. <laughs> Today, someone asked me for a peanut buster parfait with a white syrup. <laughs> <laughs> from the ice cream machine in here. <laughs> God, why are these all so good today? <laughs> so about every night. <laughs> Holy shit. Hey, 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 come here, come here, come here. Sit down, sit down. Right across from the table here. Sit down. Okay. Rasputin didn't become a fucked up sex wizard until he was like 30. Your life doesn't end at 25. No, 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 no. If you're in your mid-20s and you are reading this... You still have plenty of time to inadvertently topple a dynasty by just being really fucking weird and horny. Just don't worry. Don't worry. Now, now get out. Get out of my house. There are also reports of hybridization between cougar and bobcats in the wild, with the offspring colloquially known as... Booger. Booger. Hey, where were you taking testosterone? Because of the gender. Which one? God, who even knows anymore? Why do Marvel movies need three hours to accomplish what the Powerpuff Girls did in 11 minutes? Well, it's very simple, actually. All Marvel heroes only have a fraction of the Powerpuff Girls' power. Listen, any room can be a panic room if you just give me a fucking second! You have X many followers. Those are cadavers, girl. Corpses. Abandoned vessels of blogs who once were. It's the apocalypse in here. It's me and my five mutuals against the world. And maybe, like, ten body counts that are telling me about hot single females in my area. Wizard spell or fuck this, I'm going back to bed! Ah, we came full circle with the video. Back to my silly little bed. Well, how y'all doing? <sighs> Ooh, off to a good start! I've reached an epiphany. Being one of the only normal human characters in a piece of Sonic media is equivalent to being one of the only human characters in a Muppet movie. Aside from Eggman, of course. That guy's a beast or some sort of creature to me. Uh, it's very simple. He is an egg and also a man. Me, when feeling suspiciously relaxed. <sighs> okay. What responsibility have I forgotten? So has anyone else noticed that QREM looks exactly like Europe? <laughs> to... Game Freak, what did you mean by this? The way being employee keeps you from video games and other various activities is so sick. Genuinely demonic. I'll just do it when you come home. I am dead. Oh, just do it on your days off. I'm bearing with getting reanimated after being dead throughout the week. You don't understand. What's that feeling you feel when you're sad? Sad? Yeah, that's the one. Changing UI elements dynamically so that the users click on the wrong button should be considered malware, especially when a single click can cost you money. I'm looking at you, EA! Why do they sell garlic and fishnets? Like, why is it so sensual? Have you tasted garlic? Today's children are gonna become teens and clown the shit out of us for EP and Blorbo, but they'll say it in Coco Melanese, so we won't understand them. Today's EP Blorbo is yesterday's heckin' doggo, is last week's Mexi Bishy. I hate that you're right, and I understood all that. I've been on the internet for way too long, I understood it too. I think I found the greatest YouTube comment ever written. When I was younger, I thought John Benet Ramsey was Gordon Ramsay's daughter, and the reason he was so angry all the time was because his daughter was dead. That's... <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. The horrors prefer to be out in the wintertime because people are out less. Ah, so that's why winter's so scary. Dreamt that people were playing D&D hard mode, which was just playing D&D by a pool, and if you rolled a nat 1, the DM pushed you into the water. 
You know, yeah, it would just be a really silly idea. Andy, no, I'm not going near the pool. I've had enough! I'm about to just put all my crystals in a sock and start swinging! Are we all a titty? <laughs> well, to the goth guy in my college dining hall who has always ate waffles, I'm sorry I only knew you as Waffle Goth. You are surely more complex. God, I hope they find that post. <laughs> Beautiful women named Storage Space Running Out are always messaging me. <laughs> you know. Hey. Do I have a totally normal sandwich? <laughs> what? No, 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 no. It's just a normal sandwich. It totally doesn't have a neutron star in it. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. Oh my god, he's eating it. Look. Never dating an academic again, because I'm just sitting here shaking and crying while citing my ex's research. He collected some meaningful and relevant data. The fact that Elvis was drafted into the military at the height of his stardom is so crazy to me. Like, imagine you're in the middle of a war and you hear someone shout, Cover me! And it's Beyonce. Someone's going through this right now with one of the dudes from BTS. They're just going through training and they turn around and be like, Holy shit, is that Jimin? Imagine you're frolicking in a field, prancing through long grass, singing fa la 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 occasionally picking up a flower, you know, etc, etc. But a guy in the same field is watching you, about 20 paces away. He lowers his opera glasses, which he was using to watch you, and starts clutching his head and screaming with blind rage because of how much you're pissing him off. That's what it's like to be on the internet. And if you have those opera glasses in your hand right now, Put him down. For the sake of your health, put him down. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, my leech. It was just a, a, just, 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 just a jest. Oh, oh, you done fucked up now. Andy, take the fuck him up, Anita, and get the race. Attention, everyone. Important announcement. Fluff rodent. Baby, look at it. Guess who got some apple flavor shampoo? Wait, no, I meant scented. Don't worry, it tastes like apples too. I just threw up. I'm going to be violently ill because I can't be a knight who does quests for a living. It isn't fair. Don Quixote type post. Well, all right, just kick me while I'm down. Not ignoring you, not replying to you, but a secret third thing. Forgot. Does a single Vivzy Pop character leave the Onceler BMI bracket, or are they all built like garden shed tools? None of these words are in the Bible. They should replace Tumblr Live with Tumblr University. I want to see all the weirdo scientists and professors on there handing out homework every day. And if you don't keep your grades above a C, you can't make original posts. Reading comprehension class is mandatory. <laughs> so... How are you going to call them love handles and then try to convince people that's a bad thing? Insane to me. Do you not love love? <laughs> Eighty second. Eighty second. A little emotional. Andy, Andy, give me a second. You look like Zeke. I'm okay. A Labrador. Labradoing. What a Labradog. Labrado. Ah! Virgin Airlines. <laughs> Not after I'm done with them. Wait, wrong blog. Being sensitive is embarrassing. Oh, your tone was different than usual? Well, I'm gonna go jump in front of a trolley now. Bye! So awesome how there's an animal called a gooey duck, but it's spelled geoduck for some reason. And it's a humongous clam for some reason. Like, like, bruh. I pulled a muscle in my back. The doctor said the cure is to crack myself like a glow stick. Still in pain, but now I'm glowing a bright pink. This is acceptable. Pam, a on eating 50 pounds of raw cheese. Good luck ever using the bathroom again. I would have a lot more faith in ghost experts if I saw them go, actually, no, this house isn't haunted. Even once. J just once. Give me that episode, Ghost Hunters. I know you got it. I love that mayhem is a legal term. Like, you can be charged with mayhem. It's like arresting someone for funny business. The jury finds the defendant guilty on all accounts of tomfoolery, japing, and generally taking the piss. Causing a ruckus, your honor. My client pleads not guilty on three charges of being back on his bullshit. You just know when someone in customer service says, thank you for your patience, they're fighting for their lives that day. The correct response is, no worries at all, please take your time. Give that bitch room to breathe, they need it! 
69 is now known as 96. Thanks to inflation, the cost of... <laughs> the cost of eating out has gone way up. God damn it, Lieutenant Angus, first name Colonel, struck again. Oh, oh, I'm finally out of the rabbit holes. Oh, Andy, what year is it? I get you. Watch your stance on the issues. Now imagine I said the most complex, awesome answer, and then please like the post for me. It clearly worked. Look at them notes. I like when you delete a Tumblr post and it says, this post went to heaven. Like, <laughs> that's, not, that's not where my post went. <laughs> it's down in the other place right now singing with Keith David. Oh, uh, nothing like going to take a quick nap at 4 p.m. and waking up at 8. Dream jobs. Forest witch. Rich vampire's wife. Haunted bookstore owner. Just all three, please. Woke up this morning. Rolled over and very confidently tried to blow out my alarm clock like a candle. Absolutely no precedent for that. <laughs> oh no. Oh my God, you guys. So it turns out, you guys are not gonna believe this, but it turns out reading real books is good for you actually? Now let me, let me be completely clear. I am not being a sarcastic ass. I mean, me reading this right now, I probably am. I'm just realizing all over again in real time for myself that reading a real life published book makes your neurons feel like they're getting a spa day. Like I can feel my brain getting juicier and wrinklier with every page I turn. This shit is no joke. This is like hard drugs if hard drugs were good for you. It made your brain feel revived and alive. Fuck, I wanna do these drugs. One time I dreamt there was just a dark room with a spotlight on four people casually painting easels in a circle talking about Subway. Now hold it. I'm pretty sure you just dreamed what an artist stream is like. Andy, back me up here. I feel like we've had these conversations on Amy's streams. Plant-based rice as opposed to... Huh? As opposed to plant cringe rice. Oh! Why pencils need nerfs? Backline support diversity? Okay, this video talks about a Splatoon weapon whose appearance resembles a pencil, but taken out of context, it looks as if it's calling an actual pencil overpowered and I find that hilarious. Shit should not be stronger than the sword. I am not a shoplifter, but I believe in their beliefs. We appreciate your support. I mean, they, 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 uh, they. Yeah. Perceive with your eyeballs, a crested eagle tangled up with a snake in battle. Wow, the Aztecs were right. This is absolutely an omen worth building a city for. Baldur's Gate 3 DLCs I would pay for. Number one, Avernus quest with Will and Karlak where we fix Karlak's heart for good and absolutely obliterate Mizora. And that's it. Do you have any characters that were your first gay awakening? Yeah, I sure do. Don't be shy, Ryan. Say it. Oh my god, is that Sonic the One Snaps Cube? Watching a Tumblr post I've seen on actual Tumblr appear in a YouTube compilation or some other app always feels like how I imagine wildlife photographers must feel when they see an animal in the zoo they photographed in the woods. Can y'all stop reblogging this? I could see what's his head and I don't want to be in a zoo. Post that half 10k to me. Don't you do this to me. The zoo won't have enough enrichment for me. Oh good, notes are coming down. I've yet to appear anywhere, to my knowledge. The wildlife containment people have missed me. <laughs> I'm free! No one escapes the zoo. Face your destiny. I refuse! I will not be gawked at by YouTube tourists! I shall remain here in my natural habitat with plenty of enrichments! Psst, 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 psst. Pam Seymour. Well, well, well. <sighs> you guys have heard of dead and in it theory, right? The idea that most of the internet nowadays is bot curated and bot generated and just bots communicating with each other. So even after humanity is long gone, bots are still sharing pictures with each other. A little crazy, right? A little tinfoily? A little out of your mind? Check this out.
Famous pop singers, many pop singers have become international stars such as Michael Jackson, Madonna, Britney Spears, and Beyonce, contributing to the creativity and popularity of the genre. Pop singers, the kings and queens of catchy tunes. These pop singers sure know how to make our hearts sizzle. Pop singers went from making pop music to making pop history. These pop singers really hit the high notes of success. Pop singers making the world dance one catchy chorus at a time. These pop legends have conquered the world one hit at a time. Pop singers, the ones who make us dance through the decades. Pop singers are like shining stars lighting up our playlists. Wow, these pop singers are truly music royalty. Wow, these pop singers really know how to hit those high notes. These pop stars hit high notes of stardom. Pop singers be like, I'm famous, I'm fabulous, just dance. I'm not done with this one yet. Wow, these pop singers sure know how to make waves. Wow, these pop singers hit high notes of success. Pop singers are like fireworks. They light up the music sky. Pop singers, from MJ to Beyonce, they rock our world. Pop singers make the world groove and scream for more. Pop singers making millions dance and sing. They're true sonic superheroes. Pop singers making the world dance and sing and feel fabulous. Pop singers rule the world. Even aliens jam to Britney. The pop singer party is definitely on fire, baby. Wow, these pop singers hit the right note for Faye. <laughs> oh. My guy, the phrase pop singer has been ruined for me thanks to this entire ass thread. And it's not even the only one I found. Check this shit out. Health and beauty. Coconut-based products like coconut oil and coconut milk are used in skincare and hair care due to their moisturizing and conditioning properties. Coconut, the secret weapon for flawless skin and luscious hair. Coconuts, the secret to glowing skin and luscious locks. Coconuts, nature's beauty secrets. Who needs a beauty guru when you have coconuts? Coconut power! Coconuts got the magic touch, turning us into smooth babies. Coconuts, the secret to flawless skin and luscious locks. Coconut, the secret ingredient for fabulous hair and glowing skin. Coconut products, the secret to being a beach babe. Coconuts do wonder for your skin and hair. Just go nuts! Coconut-based products are truly a game changer for my beauty routine. Love using coconut-based beauty products that keep my skin and hair hydrated and nourished. Coconut's nature's wonder makes it essential for a great year for gradient business. Ascorbic acid is another name for vitamin C, a water-soluble vitamin that is essential for various bodily functions. It's a powerful antioxidant that helps protect cells from damage caused by free radicals, supports the immune system, and aids in collagen production. I always make sure to include enough ascorbic acid in my diet for a healthy immune system and glowing skin. Our human did not say this. No human says ascorbic acid like it's a normal term. No scurvy for me. And promotes wound healing. Incorporate foods rich in ascorbic acid is crucial for maintaining optimal health. Aren't you glad ascorbic acids help with wound healing? <laughs> if you thought that was a human, you thought wrong. Comment, ascorbic acid is vital for maintaining a strong immune system and healthy skin. Vitamin C, skin superhero. This post is unavailable. Vitamin C, skin superhero. This post is unavailable. Aren't you glad for ascorbic acid? This post is unavailable. Who knew vitamin C rocked? This post is unavailable. Aren't you glad it's good for you? This post is unavailable. Get your daily C boost. Well, PM, it's just that probably that one account. There's no way it could possibly happen a, th a second time with a different account, right? <laughs> Hand-raised toucans, tough to tame, yet surprisingly playful. This happy toucan loves being petted. Pure joy. Wait, where's the toucan? Where is it? How oh, see it! Hand-raised toucans, challenging to tame, but playful. Zeh. Toucans, tough to tame, surprisingly playful, happy when petted, pure joy. Hand-raised toucans, tough to tame, yet surprisingly playful. This toucan loves being petted, pure joy. Taming hand-raised toucans, tough but surprisingly playful. <laughs> this one loves being petted, pure joy. <laughs> toucans, tough to tame, <laughs> surprisingly playful. This happy one loves being petted, pure joy. Ha <laughs> ha
Too good, too tall for purple. But it is happy, too good, brings pure joy. Anyways, two kids, time to take it surprisingly playful. This two kids loves being baited. As you can see, I'm slowly losing my mind doing this, but um, I'm not done. How funny. Clap. Enjoy your downvote, kid. Check out this amazing article about the benefits of outdoor exercise. It explains how getting some fresh air can boost your mood and improve your overall well-being. Highly recommend giving it a read. No article. Check out this cool article about how social networks can affect our mental health. It highlights the dangers of excessive screen time and provides some tips for finding a healthy balance. Worth a read! Once again, no article. But my god, they might be onto something here. Sir Isaac Newton died a virgin. Yeah, that's what he gets for inventing calculus. You guys aren't ready for the bot replies to this one. You're, you're not. You're not. You're just not. But fuck it, here we go! Wow, this article had me laughing out loud! Hilarious and relatable! Wow, this article really blew my mind! So cool and informative! Who knew llamas could be such good therapy animals? This is awesome! This article is absolutely mind blowing. It's like a roller coaster for my brain, but in a good way. I'm loving all the crazy facts and witty writing style. Keep it going. So I'm not sure if I'm a firm believer on dead or internet theory. But fuck, am I getting there? Okay, let's do it. Ghost sword that can only be grabbed by someone with phantom limbs and drum. You know what? Why shouldn't I just tag probably bad RPG ideas? Um, because it's good? Waiting for my friend in a different time zone to get online, like a woman waiting for her husband to return from war. It's like me sending out the files to Andy. Like throwing a bottle into the ocean, like, Come home, weird British husband. Make the video funny for me. Character dynamics that's like, they weren't in a relationship, but they're definitely exes now. Holy crap. I miss the times when I would draw and not nitpick the details. With the speed that I'm currently going at, this ain't gonna be finished soon. Lamao. Back to my abyss I go. Wee. Dudes who order boneless swings close the fridge with their hips. Yeah. And what of it? My hands are full and my ass is fat. You fucking wish you were me. Remembering a couple years ago when I reminded my dad that I was queer and he asked me if I had a girlfriend, I said no and he said, so you're just LGBT in theory. I came out when I was 18 and I'm 21. Now my grandma asked if I had a girlfriend and I said no. And this so-called Christian woman said, oh, I should have stayed in the closet. That's, that's embarrassing. Kind of cringe, isn't you? This is one of those moments in the video that people should probably look at the screen because if you're just listening to the audio, those last two posts can be very confusing. Do you ever see a hot take and you're like, oh, critical thinking is a learned skill and OP is not put into practice. Well, do you ever see a hot cake and you're like, oh, <laughs> yummy. This lasagna recipe has gotten me an insane amount of ass. OP, where's the link? No B, where's the link? Why do you even want a live action adaptation of Avatar? Well, it, it's good already. The story was told in a good way and you, you can watch it. You don't need it again, but worse. You could literally just take out Avatar and put in anything recently. Honestly, I could do a deep dive rabbit hole investigation on this whole live action adaptation thing and see if it's just a bunch of IP renewals. But, uh, you gotta let me know, like, comment, and subscribe. Someone would just put a fucking Harry Potter pose on my feet as a recommendation based on your likes. So why not recommend me smallpox next or arthritis maybe? Settings, account settings, content you see, filter post content, add Rowling, JKR, Harry Potter, Snape, Remus Lupin, whatever you want. Look, look, you'll never see it again. I'm not doing all that. Tumblr should just ban all things related to that franchise. Oh my god, you are like a mewling helpless baby. You're standing in the rain and I'm offering you a goddamn umbrella and you throw it on the floor and yell at God to abolish rain. Is it entirely possible you weren't asking for help? You just wanted to be a little bitch baby! Fuck. 
I can't believe I wasted my entire life being moved by art and beauty and the indomitable human spirit. Ugh. I should have been making money through internet scams. Ah, uh, love. To a plain's heaven kiss. Latios and Latios. You know, I thought that said Latinos and Latinas, and I was just, like, going to accept it. What's wrong with me? Now, I'm no media literacy expert. Look at me, I can't even say words right. But I think the people who base their knowledge of world events off headlines problem would probably go down significantly if you could read more than a headline in the first two paragraphs of an article without hitting a paywall. Hmm. Lord, the peasants are loud today. Pheasants, pheasants, the birds. Classicist typo. Um, don't you mean classist typo? As in discriminating against poor people and not classicist, the type of academic who studies antiquity in Southern Europe? Academia typo. Oh my god, Andy, I am so sorry. This is your 400th video you have edited for me. How you feeling? That seems like a, a reasonably safe expression to have. You... <laughs> Somebody call a doctor. Well, have you considered that maybe the unstoppable force is in love with the immovable object? Maybe the reason one refuses to stop and the other refuses to move is because they both long for the collision. Oh. My least rational fear is what if I end up being a pony in the MLB universe? <laughs> okay. And I get the most revealing cutie mark, like, what if my cutie mark is the bisexual flag, and I have to cover it up with makeup for years and pretend to be a blank flag to not get outed to my conservative Pegasus father, whose... <laughs> God. Whose favorite newspaper is called The Right Wing. Uh... Hmm, sounds like... Bing. When you're unsuccessfully looking for something and start gradually increasing your it could be there range. Like, yeah, sure, maybe the rice cooker pot is in the freezer. Oh no. Limbs be left hard to draw, please. Posts without tags? Adding tags to your post helps people find them. Why would I tag my suffering? Can anyone tell me why I enter the grocery store a normal person and emerge as some sort of vile, ravening monster? It's the prices. Overstimulation fluorescent lighting. You are all correct. You random nobody! Me to a newborn baby. While looking up 1950s slang, I found the phrase, come on, snake, let's rattle, which has two meetings, asking someone to a dance and challenging someone to a fight. And oh boy, does that fact have some potential. Aren't you tired of being nice? No, I'm tired of everyone else being mean. I want to go apes. I just want to hug. Hey, have you ever thought about entering into a cat show? With this? Well, <laughs> he'd probably at least get a participation ribbon. The primordial soup hypothesis. Mmm, learning about fun new things in bio. Collect my soups. The Met Office warns the UK will be double fisted by deadly snow and ice. Needless to say, this isn't a term we would use to describe the weather. <sighs> if this post gets 3k notes by March 15th, like two months, I'll dye my hair a new color, get new clothes, stay clean from SH for two weeks, get a new piercing, and actually make an OC. I know I ain't getting 3k notes, so good luck, Lamau. Well, time to Mr. Beast this shit. Oh, there's a witch in these woods? Is she single? I'm gonna be right back, gonna ask the force which out on a date. My firstborn child has been stolen. Your wife taking care of your child is not stealing. No, you live in a society. I live in my meticulously crafted daydream universe that I've been using as a coping mechanism since childhood. And you will not take that away from me. It's important to read to your kids, but not too much, lest they start saying words like, perchance and undoubtedly. And then you run, run as far away as you can. God, America kind of dropped off these last couple hundred years. They used to call it the Wild West, now it's just the Midwest. <laughs> that's good, that's good. I like that one. This is my unethical polycule. The non-monogamy is consensual and negotiated. We're just evil in other ways. Like, for example, I just took the letter N out of the alphabet. How do you feel about that now, Editor 
aiding. <laughs> Honestly, Pokemon is the ideal universe, not just because there's cute animals that are your life companions, but because they have walkable cities and adequate biking infrastructure. Now, hold on a second. My only problem with the Pokemon universe is like a country's like, I don't know, like nine towns? How does it work? Maine, do not deliver DoorDash to a gnome. I got lost in the whimsical forest for 27 fucking days, solving musical riddles and matching colored mushrooms and shit, and I didn't even get a tip. Oh, sorry I didn't tip you, but the Guardian Frog's riddles are not that hard. And my blueberry plum swirl ice cream was completely melted after you spent, oh, I don't know, 27 days failing to think of a lily pad? Which is literally always the answer to the musical riddles. Uh, how dare you? How dare you? Zero stars. I love when my cat meows at me and I can see her little teeth because she looks just like this. Oh my god. How did you get these two pictures of cats? British people losing their accents when they sing proves that they just use it for attention. As a British that can sing can confirm my accent just completely changes to something else entirely. I don't know how it happens, it's witchcraft, I swear! Well, you know what, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna leave this microphone here and I'm gonna go, Andy. You, whatever happens, happens. You don't... You don't gotta do a thing, you just do your stuff. I'm gonna go, I got places to move to, things to see. I love you, dog. Thanks for 400 episodes. Okay, all right, I ain't gotta go. So as it turns out, it's not the the 400th video Andy has edited for me. Um, well, don't I feel like the goofiest little dude in the world? It's fine. It's fine. All right, look, I'm glad. It's so funny to be called manipulative by a parent when you're a child. Like, I can't manipulate you, girl. I'm seven. Yeah, uh, this is the, uh, pilot speaking. Yeah, we expect today's flight to be normal. Um, if you look out your window, you shouldn't see the skull. Good evening, passengers. This is the wizard speaking, and boy, do I have a treat for you. Without revealing your actual age, what's something you remember that if you told a younger person, they wouldn't understand? Video games only worked on channel three. Oh God. Imagine getting murdered and you go to heaven and God is like, yeah, they turned your gruesome death story into a podcast. <laughs> Player one, a druid currently rolling death saves in the mouth of a big cat. You know, I've lived a good life, circle of life and all that. I did eat those cats in the mountains, so I guess this is karma. Player two, also a druid. Shut your mouth, I have a healing spell. <laughs> Andy, don't even show this one yet. Don't. <laughs> I have to apologize in advance. <laughs> okay. Clown girl Yuri for the soul. E-I-E-I-O. <laughs> I can't anymore with these people. Trans computer girl. Call that a transistor. Hey, isn't that isn't that XJ9 F from my life as a teenage robot? Isn't that her? Pretty sure that's her. Man, I made so much money. How much? Bitch, you know my employer told you. Well, you have to guess, and if you get it wrong, you go to jail for a long time. I'd like to debunk that for a second. No, you do not go to jail for a long time if you're off by like a few numbers. You just have to pay whatever that amount is and maybe like a wrong fee. It's when you start getting to the six digit ones that you're off by where you go to jail for a long time. So if you're a freelancer and you think that like that $40 commission check you, you didn't put in is not gonna take and you think IRS is gonna send you to jail, they're not gonna send you to jail. Just relax. Well, you support gay rights, so you must be gay. I support animal rights. Do I look like a fucking alpaca to you? Turns out I am gay. Holy shit, how'd this alpaca learn how to type? My parents have access to mine and my brother's bank accounts and accidentally took money out of my brother's savings instead of theirs to pay their mortgage. And now every time we tell him to do something, he says, You can't talk to me like that in my house. Okay, yeah, whoever made this Oreo, I just want to talk. I just want to talk. I don't care if Vans are in good hiking shoes. I'm not gonna look lame in front of squirrels. I'm gonna trip on my face the entire time, but I'm gonna look good doing it. One time I dreamt Mr. Krabs sold the Krusty Krab to make NFTs. 
You know he would. All right, stop right there. Hold on a second. No, he wouldn't. I'll tell you why. Mr. Krabs is notoriously cheap. If he has to spend money to make money, he ain't gonna fucking do it. Chances are he would try to build his own Bitcoin mining system out of, like, garbage computer parts and fail miserably at it. Ew, hey, you're French? Blocked. The key to fanonizing your faves is to simply become academia-brained about it. Never make a statement about a character you can't back up with at least three references to the source material. And no. You can't use Wikipedia as a source material. Well, why not? Hey, let's sword fight an abandoned castle and then make out. You could just say Castlevania, it's fine. Okay, guys, let's make a normal sandwich that is normal and not diseaseous. I will start. Bread. Born. Bread. Mmm. Yum. Light motifs drive me insane. Like I hear repeated melody that has an association with a person, idea, or situation, and I go... <laughs> oh boy, it's the last video before I move into a new location, oh boy. I can't believe media was actually about boink the whole time. One. One possible interpretation. Yep. Two. Literally the main theme. And three. Worst take you've ever seen in your life. Can you guess which fandoms get infected by number three? Velna. Your nose's nose like nobody knows. This is the best compliment my art could possibly get. Notes. All of my notes for this story disappeared from my phone, irretrievably. I'm being so incredibly brave about it. You wouldn't believe how brave I am right now. It's actually incredible. <laughs> Why do you people love rubbing buzz cuts so much? Nice texture. Fuzzy. It's like velvet that doesn't hate you. Like petting short hair dog. I am learning so much. My friend got a tattoo on his arm that says, Comparison is the thief of joy. And I'm really debating getting the same tattoo on my arm, but just a little bit bigger. And then someone walks up to both of them like, Wow, this is just like Steven Universe. And then they both are like, We don't want our arms anymore. Just, just take them off. My roommate moved out and my cat called Dibs. <laughs> this is going to be piff as soon as I leave. Neurodivergent or handy culture is either forgetting things three minutes later after they told you, or having something you remember every single day even though it happened seven years ago. There is no in-between. And it's usually traumatic. Big issue with linear time is that when there are a few minutes until some event and there aren't enough minutes to do anything with, you just, you just lose those minutes. I think you should be able to save them for later and then combine them into a chunk of leftover time that you get to use at the end of the day. Like bonus hours. Wait. Million dollar young adults novel idea. The hero saves all those chunks of times and uses it to prevent their own death. I love how overthrowing the government is a crime. Like, what are you gonna do? Get law enforcement after me? <laughs> My sibling in Christ, I own the law enforcement now. Some woman on the street below just hit an operatic high C and then screamed, I'll fucking kick your ass. That was the wardrobe from Beauty and the Beast. Hey, Sid the Avenger? This post has over 50,000 notes. People have added on that the woman on the street below was Brendan Urie, Christine Day, Christian Kenoweth, Roger Taylor, Star Kid, literally me, and literally you. And this is the only valid addition. Andy, give him a gold star. They did it. Please stop framing me for murder. Just because I've killed 1,846 people doesn't mean I killed that specific one. Man, this is a staring from Baldur's Gate 3, I swear to God. Oh no, it's Jeff, the mild inconveniencer. Sure hope he doesn't do anything stupid to the video. Woke Agenda killed my son. They came down and killed him with rocks. They bashed him with rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say, Pucky? Would you say that the Woke Agenda <laughs> put your son to sleep? Teachers be like, what inspired you to write this essay? Bro, the, the deadline. I've started saying I no longer wish to be vertical when my legs are tired and I want to sit down. It's a good way of doing it. I have invented a new game. I call it Stick Wars. To start, everyone is together in one place. Then everyone splits up to look for these sticks. And after a set amount of time, everyone meets back up. Oh. God damn it, Jeff. Hi, so welcome to the sequel to uh, This Madness. 
Because boy howdy, did that video spark some interest in dead internet theory. We. <laughs> so when it came to the last video, I noticed one of the most common uh, responses to it was like, well, that's just X. And, you know, X is, you know, it. <laughs> Come on, man, it's X. It's gonna have a bunch of those. And you're right, it, like the whole reason that even is a thing is because the way the verification stamp works, as long as you pay for the monthly subscription, you have a chance of gaining ad revenue through engagement. So the more the robots engage, the more money they collect. It's a whole mining system. I could, if I was like a drama YouTuber, I probably would like deep dive into that. But I'm the funny voice man. I read the funny voice things. If you want to watch somebody who's really good at doing deep dives like this and analyzing things, I highly recommend 16 Leo, very underrated YouTuber. Go check him out. Good stuff. Love you, Leo. The other one was, well, you'll only see those things if you go looking for them. And once again, you're right. But I think it's also important to realize that sometimes you do have to go looking for it so you can figure out sometimes if posts that seem just a little off to you are actually done by a person or AI. But yeah, let's dig into this further, and no better place to start than the article I mentioned in the last video. The What is the Dead Internet Theory by Danny DiPlacido at Forbes. And by the way, Danny does some amazing stuff. You could check out their uh, stuff on Twitter and Forbes as well. Great writer. Love what they do. Let's start with good old Amazon. You know, that shopping website everyone says they shouldn't be using, but use it anyway. I'm sorry, but I cannot fulfill this request. It goes against open AI use policy. Black. $1,600! Apologies, but I am unable to assist with this request. It goes against open AI use policy and encourages $943.79 for a chair that folds. And here's a few more. I apologize, but I cannot generate the analysis you're requesting. Brown! I apologize, but I cannot help with that request. Cream! I apologize, but I cannot provide a specific analysis and generate a new product title without just, just six dollars and ten cents for two doilies. That's 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 the money. Nature's vagina calendars, 2024 to 2025. I apologize, but I cannot assist with generating a sign. This was made by somebody. Their name's right there. I can probably guarantee that the name is fake too. And these just look like AI generated images. The semi nice thing about this though is Amazon, I think actually fixed this because I tried typing these in myself and I didn't get any results. But to say that it didn't happen before, that I'm just gonna put this image up. I don't even wanna read it. I just wanna prove a point that you could have had typed this in and gotten these results. And look at those fucking chairs. <laughs> Telling me six of those chairs cost $2,000. Get the fuck out of here. Now the comment is, is, well, you would be smart enough to know that those are probably fake items you're not going to get if they're just being procedurally generated like that. That is true. But what you're also not taking into account of is maybe the listings that were able to get it right. I mean, that's the whole point of the AI system, is it not? It's supposed to get bigger and better with the more things you, you feed it. That's why the art AI thing was kind of a big fucking problem. And I could I could do a whole rant on that because I, you know, apart from the voice acting stuff, I also do art, I do music. I'm in like so many fields that AI is fucking finagling itself into and I don't like it. But anyway, I digress. If you're wondering about a situation where maybe one of these fake AI things got away with this, we can look no other than this lovely post from Tumblr. My sister got a book for Christmas on how to care for tarantulas alongside the tarantula supplies. She's wanted one since she was eight and she's 15 now. And basically it appears to have been written by an AI. She realized quickly that the book was riddled with errors, repetitive and badly written. And after some investigation found that it was self-published using a website that offers AI tools to help you write your book. Now, of course, this is the internet, and you could say, well, where's the proof in that? I want to see pictures and everything. But can we just take this at face value for a second? With all the other AI shenanigans we've seen, witnessed, responded to, laughed at, and mocked, isn't it possible that this book does exist and almost duped this kid into taking care of the tarantula the wrong way? Hi, post-editing Pat here, because I couldn't have Andy be subjected to this madness I'm deep diving into, so it's all been me the entire time. 
just to see if I could actually find out if this book does exist, I went on Amazon and I looked up tarantula care books and I came across this one. And not only does the picture of the tarantula seem a little off, I scroll down to the review right here. Based on the reviews, it seems that what the AI system did was confuse uh, tarantula care with poodle or toy dog care. So yeah, B be mindful of what you buy. <laughs> God, this is feeling more like a rant than it is supposed to be funny, and I apologize for that, but it's, it kind of goes hand in hand because that's, the, it happens, right? Sometimes a funny AI thing will happen and we'll laugh our ass off and it's like, well, maybe it's not so bad because, you know, those stupid fucking things like this one. Water is in ingredients. Deep stuff. And it also gets really funny on a site that is definitely plagued with the dead internet theory. Facebook, you know, the thing that you keep so your grandparents can talk to you because they're not using anything else? Why are grounding wires not insulated? You ready for this one? <gasps> good conductivity, 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 good conductivity. You know, you gotta feel bad for Robin Schultz. Didn't get a single like on this. Damon got a heart, that's pretty impressive. And then like, they'll just post shit that's kind of pretty gruesome to say for reactions on Facebook, like MNN dead announcement sends internet into meltdown. Like, who, who said this? No one said this, he's still alive. Also, there's something very unsettling about that image. Let me just check. Just pop that into searches and uh... <laughs> it's a smoothed out version of this image from Entertainment Weekly's 2003 article of 8 Mile. <laughs> the yesified porn martial matters. But you know, it really, it, it, it all depends on how you feel about the situation, right? Like it's very apparent that it's, you know, becoming more of a frequent issue, but you still have to look out for it, right? You still have to deep dive to find these things. But at what point does the deep dive become just a shallow walk until you realize most of the things you're seeing on your favorite social media sites aren't real. It's even becoming an issue on YouTube. Like you've guys seen it. You've seen like the avatar of just someone's ass asking like the most insightful questions and then you realize their account is fake as fuck. And it's amusing when shit like that happens and they respond to almost borderline AI generated videos, like the movie cap reviews that are just done in an AI voice. And I wanna end this video by just saying that I didn't do this as a negative thing. I did it more as an awareness that you just gotta look out for this stuff and be careful because it's so easy these days to get tricked on the internet. And believe me, I've been on it since I was 10. I'm 33 now. It's 23 years of this shit being ingrained into my fucking brain. It's so much easier to point out shit that that's, that's fake when you've been on it for so long. But when you're fresh faced to this or just how well versed it can get, yeah, you gotta play that game of, is this someone doing a bit or is it just someone that's using a machine to get money out of you? But how I'm actually gonna end this video is with this post from Pokemon. Ogre Pin's attributes, including its ability and type will change depending on which mask it puts on. Which of Ogre Pin's four forms is your favorite? Reason behind climate change, reason for hot weather, super, beautiful, cheers, sure, just love, better, love, oh no, hello, yeah, yeah, that, yeag, oh no, true, pretty, windows, yeag, oh so pretty, gorgeous, goddess, reason behind global warming, windows, window, reason for global warming, princess, yeah, yes, windows, yeah, yep. Yeah, sure, sure is passionate about digital and intrigued by crypto, right? This is taller. A real person, I swear to God. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching or listening or just having me in the background while you do stuff or you know you're you're eating food, whatever time it is that you decide to watch this. I personally pick breakfast to watch YouTube videos. If I had like a final thought I had about what I would think about the dead internet theory, I don't really think it's entirely legitimate but it is kind of scary how baffling the internet is right like yeah we picked a few websites but that doesn't count for the entire map of the internet 
but it is also like the most heavily foot trafficked websites where bots usually like to roam around and try to scam people. I feel like what really how I feel about this is I wished AI was just in the hands of people that knew how to use it. I think when it became more open sourced, it became a problem because it didn't become what it was supposed to be. Like, I felt like if it was a tool that just truly assisted us in like writing, if it gave us a prompt or caught us in like loopholes or even in painting, like if you need an idea of how to do a forest background, it can help you. But at the same time, you don't learn fully from it. You might get a general idea of like how a forest background is supposed to be, but you, we as humans love to challenge ourselves. We love to test ourselves. If something is just built like this to cut every possible corner so that there's no more challenge in our creativity, we don't learn and we don't grow from it. Just like any tool, in the hands of a creative mind, it could do some amazing things in the hand of someone who just wants to collect a paycheck, it's complete and utter shit. I just want to say, uh, at the final part of this video, there is going to be something that I did a while back about a YouTube comment deep dive. Just wanted to make it clear that I did try to attempt to reach out to parties involved and didn't really get a response, so I, I, I think it's just, it's just a dead end at that point. But, I wanted to make that clear because I know I got some comments on, hey, did you try to reach out to him? And I did. Nothing happened. I am making the least of my 20s by being in my 30s. Living with roommates is fun because you get to learn what their parents think should be refrigerated. Look, I get it's called cold cereal, but you don't actually put the cereal in the fridge. That's just, that's just psychopathic. I think this cat may be magical. Are you sure that's a cat? That looks more like a soot sprite. Oh my god. You give him a little sugary star bear right now. They took the vine from us! Sad apes in the jungle discussing deforestation. Poor Danky Kang. Yeah, I saw Babylon. Not good. Egyptian scouts circa 1150 BC after the invasion of the Sea Peoples. Yo, huge shout out to purple for being the only color that has like no losers. Deep purple, royal purple, bluish purple, reddish purple, pastel purple, dusty purple, lavender, periwinkle, violet, like banger after banger after banger. You know, except for that one time there was a guy that was purple. Unbothered, moisturized, happy, in my lane, focused, flourishing. Pikachu's drowning! This ain't about him. If Tumblr explodes, you can address a letter to my URL and place it in any hollow log. To be clear, I will not receive it, but it is an action you can take. It'll be like being terminally online, but you know, in the forest. Please enjoy this official art of Articuno in a refrigerator. What's that guy doing in there? If we lived in a just society, every- Do you want quinoa salad with pomegranate dressing? Grumpy text post canceled. I'm getting free food for my neighbor. Life is beautiful. Alex and Steve Minecraft are T for T. Their dead names, Adam and Eve. In this essay, I will- Yeah, I'll just go ahead and integrate that into my belief system. Thoughts on polyamory? Well, thanks for asking. First of all, I think love is a weakness by another name, and you should be killing everyone with your demon blade. Maybe the true power is in learning to be weak? Oh my god, the reading comprehension on this site is awful. The true power- is in the demon blade. That's how it kills everyone. Where did I lose you? One time I dreamt that there was that Pucky Cho guy from Tumblr, but he was a 700 foot tall beast harassing one small Turkish town and the government couldn't do anything about it. But then Disney sent drones to vaporize the monster because of copyright laws. I woke up and had to Google if Disney owns Pokemon. Coastal town of your metallic barbarian selves! Oh, shit, dude! Oh, man, this... This went, this went sh shorter than I thought. Why don't we just sit in silence for a bit? Yeah, that seems like good YouTube content right there. How you guys doing? You, uh... Did you eat today? You should probably eat something. 
If you haven't, maybe get a drink of water. Look yourself in the mirror and say, hey, everything's okay. Everything's pretty good. And uh, if that intrusive thought in your head says otherwise, you know, fuck them. Oh, deadly dang, it's a patch notes. Increase odds of meat room. Mm. Updated CTF Pelican Peak. Removed skybox bridge for DX8 users. Adjusted cow. And miscellaneous fixes. Removed geomes for good. Moth person. Serpent. Gray alien world war event. Skrillex NBC. Moon. And Shrek cryptid. Put it back. Added unrestricted max players to raise the max player count to 100. Features unsupported and not recommended. Fixed. You can no longer eat your own belt by right-clicking it. Fixed. You can now start the game with paints. Other. A bug that caused armor vehicles that were hit to break the laws of physics and fly has been fixed. Oh, me. You can no longer arrange for a coffin to be made for the bereaved couple's child, murder the coffin maker, then go back and tell the couple everything was A-OK. -okay. This was a bug. You monsters. Decreased size of the frog. Look at him, he's so small now. When a skin is banned, players with that skin will have their skin removed. Fixed a bug that prevented players from being able to thank each other. Miscellaneous. Removed Twitter. Oh my god, finally. Hot water is now required to make bowls of oatmeal. Tim is now satisfied. Hope you're happy, Tim, you fucking weirdo. The mating tent. You asked for this. Great news! We fixed the hat! To celebrate our nomination for the Steam Award last month, we announced a sweet new hat! The Jagged Bug Basher! But something about the hat made the whole game crash for anyone running older Ryzen GPUs. After a bit of tinkering, we got the hat working now. We're not really sure why, or how, but it works! So now you can grab it! Fix some typos in three instances where it would say movement speed instead of movement speed. In my defense, you are allowed to combine words in Norwegian. Fixed issues with Asterion discussing topics that are no longer relevant. <sighs> it's not fair. Because I like to look at Asterion sometimes and go, You SHUT YOUR MOUTH WHEN YOU'RE TALKING TO ME! You know, you could record videos under a blanket until you get your sound panels back. Oh my god. The olden days. I haven't done this since college. Oh boy. Ironically, I was doing well. And then your email found me. How dare you. If you're happy for literally any reason, no matter how small or stupid, you're winning in this world as far as I can tell. Caring for little plants, old video games, a cat you love, a silly TV show. Isn't it great when people know what causes them joy and they embrace it? You should try it sometime. Yeah, sorry about your son. We meant no harm. Yeah, we only hurt him to disarm him. Yeah, no, we, we took no pleasure in his pain. We only wanted to escape, so... Yeah. I love piracy. Arr, collect me ships and doubloons. Wait. I can fix them. Relax, Bob the Builder. He got like ten other girls trying to fix them, too. You all look like a construction crew. Goddamn. Sorry for not posting for so long. Lost my phone. Then, what do you know? Found my phone. Send this to other bloggers you think are wonderful. Keep the game going. No. The game dies with me. There really is something in how AI art can't get human hands right. Versus some of the oldest art we have is our handprints on a wall. I'm not gonna write the poem, you get it. The themes, you know. Don't. Oh, he's pathetic. Awesome. Nice of the Blaha store to start selling furniture. Hey, Luigi. Look at him. Throwing his little moth jiggy. I love this little moth so much. Just, just absolutely friend-shaped. Oh, my God. I want emo versions of idioms. Like, instead of, you're barking up the wrong tree, it's, you're panicking at the wrong disco. You can lead a horse to evanescence, but you can't bring him to life. This isn't my first black parade. Talk about a rise and fall. Oh boy. One time I dreamt I was on the phone with my grandma and she was telling me about a Good Omens fan fiction that she wrote. Was it good? Asked my BF how work was today. You know, there's something magical about a place that you can't leave for eight hours a day, five days a week, for fear of being homeless. It's great. 
British people wake up in a bathtub full of ice with their kidneys gone, being like, Right, what's all this then? Hey, does anyone have the link to this month's Fur World Domination Plan document? <laughs> not, that, not, not that I forgot or anything, I just, I just need to know the codes. Uh, fuck my stupid Yuri life. And fuck my stupid Yowie life. Behold, a 15-year work in progress. Artists in the background. So talented. Yeah, I'm probably gonna like this character a normal amount. Oh, shit. It's my wife with literally every Honkai male character. Well, I think this is good for the party's character development. Me, out of character, after rolling for the second time a nat 20 with a 4 on the d4 to set up the scenario of an expedition. Oh boy. Oh. My coping mechanisms may be worse than my actual problems. Shit. We did it, the new sound booth is set up, yay! Ladies, men, gentle thems. Being in your 20s is about experiencing the worst thing you can imagine and then having to go to the grocery store. Because big, I get them bacon and eggs, am I right? <laughs> Technically, we are all always LARPing because the self is only a construct. I want a new character. Then make one. You know, everyone's talking about posts that changed their brain chemistry seem to be leaving out this classic, which probably propelled me into activism and more self-confidence in a way I cannot put into words. Except these ones right here. I'm such a I want your attention, but won't bother you kind of person. Yo, got that vampire autism where you gotta invite me in every time. <laughs> God, if this isn't me. What the frank is a birth certificate? Why well, I gotta prove to you I was born, Mary Frank? I'm right here. Okay, now a minute's have passed. I can say fuck. None sleep. The, 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 the left beef? Left beef. Left beef. Left beef. Left beef. Left beef. Left beef. L what? Left beef. For those of you that don't know what left beef is, Andy kindly p put it up. Delicious, isn't it? Be my anti-Valentine, where we try to make each other as unhappy as possible on February 14th. No, I already have one of those. Polyagony. This is fucking hilarious. I think one problem with the United States is that they forgot to name the country. Oh, my God, we did. Andy, why didn't you tell me? Hi, uh, sorry to DM without consent. What horrifying new social rules are the kids inventing now? You can't just kidnap people and force them to play D&D. &D. Or can you? Permission to rot, my liege? Permission granted. Inside, we are all wizards. And we all know a spell called love. It does 6d12 necrotic damage. And no, you cannot roll a saving throw. It just happens. Do you play fighting games? Every time I step outside. Android girl trying to flirt. Aaron's doom. I swear to God, if I see this joke with 2B from the Automata, I'm going to make freaking lose it. Ah, Shin Impact. Ow! Woman shouts, I still love sharks, as she is pulled from sea after being bitten by one. Well, if they say me. Me, bleeding profusely from a missing leg as I'm being dragged onto the beach. This was a statistically unlikely occasion. If the shark wanted me dead, I would be dead. Sharks are important for their ecosystems. I do not condone any attempts to hunt this shark. If an animal kills me, that was on me. It caught me slacking. Let it eat me. If I get put in a PM Seymour Bettina Levy video, you guys will tell me, right? You aren't gonna let me never know, letting the knowledge drift through human consciousness, but never once crossing the threshold of my mind, right? As a fucking little clown, I deserve to know, right? Only if you attend me. I would. Jesters need to help each other out. Thank you. I live in constant worry I'll end up in a video without realizing. Well, hello, tiny jesters. Ah, shit, Bettina Levy beat it to me first. Sorry, sorry, I can't, I can't do the whole thing. I'm sorry, it's, it's, it's done. Uh, I, I want to read more anti jokes for this channel. It's been years. Can you lovely creatures give me some of your favorites? In YouTube, it's your job to rate every single one. All right, let's go. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A non-zero percentage. After learning the word exponentially, my use of the word exponentially has gone up. Loads. 
Why right, didn't the skeleton go to the party? Because he was a skeleton and not capable of attending parties. A blind man walks into a bar. From my brother. What did the llama say to the postman? How do you put a giraffe in the fridge? Open the door, put the giraffe in, close the door. A man walks into a bar and orders a few drinks. He is soon very drunk and stumbles home. He sees his dog and asks how his day went. The dog says, Roof! to which the man says, me too, buddy. And then they both go to bed. What's the difference between a mouse and a cute girl? What the fuck do you think? Have you looked at them? Knock, knock. Who's there? Dave. Dave who? Dave begins to sob wildly because his grandmother's Alzheimer's has progressed to the point where she no longer recognizes him. Why did the chicken cross the road? I don't know. Didn't ask. What's at the bottom of your leg that isn't your foot? My foot. What do you call an owl with carrots for ears? Whatever you want. It can't hear you. You know what? I should do this one of the really old anti-joke voice I used to do. <clears throat> What's the difference between a piano and a fish? You can tune a piano, and you can eat a fish. And finally... So this one's actually a favorite of mine, but before I tell it, I have to make sure you know how some of the wildlife around here works, because it involves a little bit of light. Right, so, bees are pretty stimulus-sensitive bugs, yeah? You've probably seen that one video where they're flying around a room and then suddenly stop because someone turned out the lights. You probably also know that bees get a lot less aggressive around smoke. Which is why beekeepers usually have that little cattle looking things. Yeah, I, I've seen them, my mom's got one of those. Another thing that can really mess with them is the cold. Though this one's less known, but bees will enter a state of torpor when they get too cold. B basically they fall asleep, you know, they, they slow down. Cryostasis, yeah. Now I say less unknown, but a couple of people might actually recall this fact because it was part of a shit post way back. Basically, the person would detail step-by-step -step instructions for a task, but they never said what the task achieved until the end, where they revealed that, that you accomplished having an angry bee in your mouth. Before anybody assumes where I'm going with this too, I'd just like to get this out of the way. I'm not going to tell you to refrigerate a bee, then put it in your mouth. Th that'd just be weird. Don't do it. <sighs> well, dang it. I stumbled into another rabbit hole. So let's start the story here. I have a little buddy named Baja who watched the, <laughs> the dead internet theory videos that I did before. And that got them curious and very aware to pick up on things that seem a bit out of whack. So they were watching the movie trailer for the upcoming indie horror movie Tarot when suddenly they noticed a comment that seemed out of place. With 28 replies. Oh boy, what could this be? Well, hallelujah! The Daily Jesus devotional has been a huge part of my transformation. God is good. Was owning a loan of $47,000 to the bank for my son's brain surgery, Oscar. Now I'm no longer in debt after I invested $8,000 and got my payout of... Mm, $270,500 every month. God bless Renee Marie Harrison. Now you might be wondering, what does this have to do with the horror movie about tarot? I, you get, you, you got me. I don't, I don't fucking know. It could be a bot, could be a person. I don't know. It's a good bit so far. I gotta admit, I'd laugh if I saw this just random post on a horror video. But let's look at the reply, shall we? Hello, how do you make such monthly? I'm a born Christian and sometimes I feel so down ow, of myself because of my low finance, but I still believe in God. Thanks to my co-worker, Alex, who suggested Mrs. Mary Elizabeth Webb. Get that name ingrained into your system. That's, that is the subject for today. She's a licensed broker in the States. That's, that's a completely different person. Okay. After I raised up the 325k trading with her, I bought a new house and a car here in the States. Also paid for my son's surgery, Oscar. Glory to God. Shalom. Wow, that's nice. She makes you that much. Please, is there a way to reach her services? I work three jobs and trying to pay off my debts for a while now. Please help me. Great to see you guys talking about her. She changed the game for me. May God bless Mrs. Mary Elizabeth Webb services. She has changed thousands of lives globally. 
for the record, uh, Mary Elizabeth Webb works mostly in Chicago. We'll get to that later though, but I find that really funny. Finding yourself a good broker <laughs> is the same as finding a good wife, which you go less stress. You get just enough with so much a little effort of things. <laughs> oh boy. Hallelujah, God is still working wonders. I placed myself in position for such miracles. The best thing I've seen today on YouTube. Thanks a lot. Just to remind you, this is on, this is on this. This is on this. The fuck is this doing on this? Well, thank you so much. I'm really fascinated about investing and I'm lucky I saw your comment. I will look up for her and drop a message. You really inspired me. Please, can I sign in from Australia? Is it possible? This is just, I'm not gonna read out that number. In fact, I'm gonna censor a little bit because I don't, I don't want people getting any ideas. Copy it this way. YouTube is frustrating. What's APK? Oh, 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 no, oh, no. Same, I met Mrs. Mary Elizabeth Webb last year for the first time at a conference here in Manchester. And after then, my family changed for good. God bless Mrs. Renee? What? I have made more than 90K. God bless Mrs. Mary Elizabeth Webb. God bless America. Yeah! I started t with Mrs. Mary Webb in 2021, and now my life is good. Something to write home about. I thank God the most. He alone made it possible for the opportunity to come my way. It's a miracle. And I would testify 110k bucks every four weeks. I now have a big mansion and can now afford anything and also supports God's work and the church. Please, who is this Mrs. Mrs. Mary Elizabeth Webb? <laughs> Mrs. Mrs. Her good reputation already speaks for her 100k last month. Her 100k. She's a licensed broker in the States. I have heard about her excellent trading expertise in CNBC News. Guess she's more popular in the United Kingdom. Hold that thought. Oh, uh, I guess it was just a limited time broadcast. So you're probably asking, the fuck's going on here, Pat? Why, why are you even talking about this? I fell into this rabbit hole and I figured you all needed to join me. But what I find fascinating about this is this seems not really AI involved. I think this is more like an actual group kind of fucking with people. But here's the thing, and here's the shocker. It's not Mary Elizabeth Webb. I don't even think Mrs. Webb knows this is going on. What this seems like is a targeted way to dupe more naive people into a fake broker program because, hey, Money can't really buy happiness, but boy howdy, can it buy us the food to keep us alive? Unless you're one of those really smart people that knows how to self-sustain and grow crops, and if that's the case, good on you. It's really cool. I don't have the motivation for that, but I'm glad you do. So Baha and I were going back and forth on what we could figure out with this person. So did a little hop on Google, typed in that name, and clicked on the first link, and we got BOOM! Th this is a site. Sure do be a site. Oh god, it's powered by WhatsApp. Now, I already have my suspicions because usually stockbrokers, <laughs> it's gonna sound mean to say, they usually have the money to do a better website if they have their own personal website. So I got a little curious because I know Morgan Stanley. Morgan Stanley is an actual broker company here in the States. But I want to stay on Mary first. I want to see if this is actually Mary. So the first thing I checked was that address, and uh, not, nothing really shows up there. Gonna give that the benefit of the doubt though, because that around it does have like actual other uh, investors and business attorneys and stuff like that. So it's possible that she works in like a firm that just doesn't get tagged on Google Maps. That's fine. So let's play around with something a little more serious because brokers usually do have a direct line of contact. So there's a phone number there. Just type that number into Google and oh, there's, there's no one there. Well, for some reason, Google wants me to look up cake recipes. I'm on to you, Google. So now you're probably on the suspicious side like me. Like, okay, this definitely seems not legitimate. I gotta figure out if there is an actual Mary Elizabeth Webb that works for Morgan Stanley. Please let that be the case. And as it turns out, there is. You get past the fake website and Mary Elizabeth Webb, the singer, look at that. 
Morgan Stanley. You just click on that website and hey, still want to find the way of fucking shocking here. That's not the same lady. That's an entirely different lady. What's going on here? I'm happy to say that this is the actual Mary Elizabeth Webb. Street address is the same, so I'm going to assume, yeah, it's probably just something they don't have on the map. But the direct number, if you search it, it actually goes back to Mary Elizabeth Webb. So it took a sigh of relief to realize that, okay, this person does exist. And then that sense of dread came in that the website we found originally and the comments were talking about the fake Mary Elizabeth Webb. The first site, the WhatsApp powered site. So I had to do one last thing before I could solidify and I got started on this video. I had to look up that image of that person who wants to be Mrs. Mary Elizabeth Webb. You wanna guess what the uh, results were? What the results were? D take time to comment on the guesses and then you can edit the reaction of like, did you call or did you not call it? You ready? It's a fucking bitch child attorneys in Tulsa, Oklahoma article. It is, it's stock footage. And I know this because other websites use it. There's another article by Kev's Best for five best criminal attorneys in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Bankruptcy law. And th this, I, I can't read that, but it's this. I'm going to lose my mind. Now the final reason why I decided to go down this rabbit hole. Because one of the comments in the daddy internet theories was that, well, sometimes humans can pull this crap too. And guess what? They, they're right. Guess why? Everybody wins. Everybody wins except people who get tricked into following these scam ass websites. My final piece of advice. If you, Sam, you right there. Hi, Sam. How you doing? If you're watching horror movie trailer clips, and in that moment, you'd realize, boy, howdy, I could use a stockbroker in my life. Please just go to actual websites and not the Christian sock puppet accounts on the YouTube comments that are praising this fake Mary Elizabeth Webb, who is also named Renee. Who the fuck is Renee?